I already filmed this video once before. I really hope that this time the audio is not gonna give up on me because I'm losing it. I'm working on so many projects at the same time. The remake of Brad's doll outfit, human sized version, is coming. In any case, I'm here to talk about girl groups today, specifically their concepts. So let's start with, for example, Kepler. So Kepler is a South Korean group. A lot of these groups are going to be South Korean because they got a lot of groups there. I think that we only have one Western group, honestly, to talk about. By the way, whenever I talk about concepts, this rarely has anything to do with the artists themselves in terms of like the girlies that are singing in the group or whatever, because they usually have an art director or creative director. They have a whole team working for them because they are not like a single individual working on something, right? You never know where the ideas came from, how they actually came to fruition and stuff like that so don't take it as a personal offense to the girls okay because this is not what this is about so kepler is quite a bit of a mess messy in a boring way not in an exciting way i think that a lot of competition show groups kind of get like a built-in audience because people get to feel for them they get to like see them kind of create a persona through the show you know like play the villain or the victim or the gray horse or whatever the fuck you know these girls their concept and that is actually the case for most show created groups do not have a strong concept at all most of the stuff that informs their visuals specifically not their lore or anything like that is space stuff some 80s influences let me show you for example this is one of their albums the design of it it's cute it's not like offensive in terms of being like terrible or something like that the problem is not that it's ugly or whatever but the art direction is just weak as hell you can tell that the creators like they don't really care about creating a group that is cohesive i think they're only caring about keeping the momentum going for individual girls and um, striking deals where they're gonna you know go off into new groups or whatever because this is one of those groups that's gonna break up in like two years and a half or something like that one of those that's like their plan right their music videos their styling it feels very very outdated and not vintage not like oh we're just throwing it back to here or we're doing this specific thing you know it feels as late and lame as boy groups wearing a white shirt with like a harness you know it's like okay what is this 2018 like what are we doing here you know what i mean and their music is very hit or miss which is not great for a group that's going to be around for that short of a time i don't know what they're doing with them because i believe that like one of the groups like that was eyes one and they did a lot better in terms of at least having a more consistent tone right i just don't think that kepler is like knows what the hell they're doing so this one has lost the plot yeah no it's copy and paste because they never actually had a plot to lose so whatever honestly they're going into they said copy and paste i'm sorry i'm sorry okay let's talk about ive so ive definitely has a lot of impact and if we would have been talking about them before i am came out before their i've album came out i would probably tell you you know they're fine they seem to have an idea of where they're going they're really doing well in korea they, they obviously are doing well internationally too but i just mean that uh, doesn't always line up what does well internationally what does well domestically for them but a lot of people talking about them which i don't think is always good for the girls themselves because it's just like just a lot of shit being talked about them after i am was released again this is not really a concept as much as it's an aesthetic right so they have a tone and as much as i would love to always kind of talk about the you know the concept as in very complex concepts i think that there is a difference between groups that were created to be commercial groups and their their approach and i think that there is something to say about how the girls keep on getting concepts each comeback that are different in nature but still have the same tone which i think is great because they're not like creating anything new per se okay but it, they don't really need to because that's not their purpose they are created to be the most appealing group for south korea they're doing their thing they're doing what needs to be done they have this elegant but a bit youthful kind of thing going you know which um is favored in asia with their latest edition with their full album they have created some great pop tracks 
I was surprised because I was never really that much of a fan. I mean, they didn't really have a discography. They had like three singles and like three B-sides, you know. And the B-sides, I didn't really listen to them that much. I listened to them once and they didn't stick, so I kind of forgot about them. But um, I did like all three of their singles that came before. But they definitely, you know, solidified their place, in my opinion, with their latest album. A lot of great tracks. I don't really care for catch look you know like that the music video and everything i do not really care for it but i am really hit i really love the way that they filmed it it was really nice fits their aesthetic fits their direction and i specifically loved their look like this one with the black mini dresses and the white dress shirts with pearls or with chokers and especially what i liked about it was the tone of their makeup i thought that they went like for a really nice interesting tone that is not really used that often and it really does look fantastic my favorites off of that album were blue blood i am lips i think hypnosis and cherish i like the other ones some of them too but i just kind of the only two that i actually put in my favorites was hypnosis and cherish but i remember that i also loved i am and blue blood and lips and heroin it was fun you know a fun album that i think was a lot more solid than i would have expected and i especially loved that it was an actually full-length album instead of you know them being like it's a full-length album and it's like seven songs like go are you kidding me no this ranking that i have here it's not really perfect for them because it's not like i want to be like oh they are absolutely fantastic because their concept is not that cool or revolutionary but i do think that they are executing their aesthetic really well and it fits the type of songs that they're doing it's good for their you know business and stuff so i would say inconsistent greatness just because it's not actually like a strong concept but they are doing it with a flair that works for them and i applaud that you know let's talk about my faves not as a group though <laughs> this one hurts all right this one hurts god the beat god the beat has a lineup that is just crazy like astronomically good every single performer in this group is a performer okay they are just the best of the best genuinely i think it's kind of it's a bit crazy that SM put together this lineup and then didn't give them a proper rollout. I'm sorry, but that's just insane. They genuinely went, let me put Boa, Dayon, Sulgi into the same group. Karina and Winter and obviously Wendy with her voice and everything and Hyo. Just like, let's put them all together and then not give them a proper rollout. Just give them a performance video at a concert where everyone from SM performs and gets like 3,000 songs, even if they suck, to perform. What the fuck happened? They put together Super M, right? A group of guys who, like, half of them are gonna have to go to the military, okay? Let's be real here, right? So their career is gonna be interrupted really soon. They knew that in a year or two, they are not gonna be able to have the same lineup, but they did it as a permanent unit, right? So they were like, okay, Super M is right here a fixed unit they're not gonna be swapped out for other members of groups or whatever right they put the money in to debut them with a very expensive music video which didn't even have that good of a concept again because lee suman is obsessed with marvel and you know like superhero bullshit and it's just not that interesting it, it isn't i'm sorry okay there are ways of making it interesting but most of the time it's just kind of like just people wearing spandex that's not that's special okay especially for art come on now like what are, what are you saying about human experience and i'm not saying that superhero stuff is stupid as much as you really have to work to make it work okay you can't just be like he's a superhero that's why he's cool okay there needs to be something they had some bops on that mini album okay so they gave them a mini album they gave them a whole rollout with like trailers for each member um with with God the Beat, what did we get? We didn't even understand what the fuck the concept was in terms of who's going to be in the group, how are they going to be in it, how often they're going to be swapped out because we were just given this information of like, oh, God the Beat is like girls on top, God the Beat. It's a subunit or, you know, a unit of a group that's going to be constantly swapped out and other different types of units are going to be formed. Nothing was... It was supposed to be kind of like NCT but with all of the girlies from SM. It just... 
doesn't make any sense because they did not explain it well they moved on from it they kind of were like let's just try this thing so so the whole rollout was extremely sexist it did not fucking do anything for them they just did not give them a proper chance and they still killed it with the numbers and with how many people were interested obviously because they're great but the problem is that how do you give super m an international rollout a local rollout you give them concerts a tour you give them an album release you give them photo shoots individual and together so like photo books that are individual members member versions insane trailers for each member to introduce them and their talents you give them lore in terms of like tame in like you know assembling them or whatever the fuck you give them all that and then with god the beat they were like yeah we have boa who literally built this company with her talent but we're not gonna give them like a proper rollout are you kidding me they don't deserve that and also the song itself i love church bell beats and other things like that i love aggressive beats the problem with the song was that it was always like if this is a graph of of intensity of the song it was always here but that's not how you write the song you need to build up the intensity for an apex of the song for it to actually hit okay what the hell are you doing with them screaming the entire time and only kind of letting go for one moment in the bridge. Explain that to me. The lyrics were trash as well. I was so fucking angry about that because they gave it to that dude, like, I don't, Ryan John, is that his name? He's the guy who had that huge scandal about him saying that nasty word, basically kind of like C word in English about female idols and how you have to be writing for them now because there's there's more money in girl groups right now this is insane how do you do that how do you just do that then after a year they come back with a mini album right so great okay so at least a mini album now the photo shoots are dull okay why are we why are we doing this half-assed girl crush concept it's it's not it's not like a good girl crush concept okay this is like something that would hit in 2016 not in 2023 are you fucking kidding me who styled this who came up with this who put this on a board on the vision board in the office and went this is good enough for them who did that you look at those pictures you look away and you already forget what the fuck they were that's how anonymous they feel you have an entire group of just absolutely killer performers absolutely killer uh, models like she's they're great at posing they're great at delivering a concept any concept we've seen it with many of their previous releases this is not a bunch of rookies you know so just the fact that the concept is so weak is insane who was the art director for this and why why would you do that to them what happened the mini album the songs also sucked ass i swear to god i was so fucking angry about it because all of them like they could have given us boa better type of thing right mixed with maybe a little bit of quirkiness of red velvet maybe a bit more hyper pop steely sounds of espa like mix it up a little bit you know maybe do something super glamorous and inspired by the early 2000s to kind of give a nod to boa and also you know girls generation hits and stuff like that give us something that is actually catchy the entire album is just them screaming like vocalizing but there's no like good hooks no good melodies that really stick with you i am such a huge girl group fan i'm such a huge fan of literally every girl in this room oh, in this room <laughs> in this group okay so i do not understand how the fuck this happened okay i'm super angry about it i think that they did not get what they deserve in terms of commitment and thought put into their work and into their concept and into their literally everything the, even the production of the songs doesn't have this proper structure that would gr like really grab you and i just don't understand like sometimes like we could have gotten like next level type of thing you know but that would work really well for a group like that with a lot of different sections that maybe feel jarring at first but then kind of really become like one of your favorite songs they could have done something a bit more glassy and icy and sparkly something that's r&b pop or maybe more badass but like kind of like pussycat dolls like that would be a perfect time to bring it back that kind of sound of like timbaland producing shit why are we here how do we end up here what is going on they said copy and paste i am pissed about it though i'm such a big fan and i just hate everything about this project i just don't understand why they would make something as 
uninspired just slap it together and throw it out like the girls are carrying through their performances only because they're killing it every time but everything else what is going on let's talk about the only western group we got on the list today which is little mix i got beef with little mix first of all let me pay them a few compliments first and foremost the girls are great vocalists like no one can take that away from them okay they are talented they definitely are they are more of like performers than artists and they really perform perform you know like they go on stage and they actually you know choreograph things you know whether it's an interesting choreography or a very westernized choreography of the 2010s that only has grinding and coochie grabbing that's a different conversation but they do try to dance you know they learn the choreography they do you know one two step whatever which is great i'm here for the effort you know i don't like this nonsense of showing up to concert two to three hours late high barely remembering your own lyrics to your own songs barely performing them if you've been performing them without dancers like backup dancers without a choreography without any special effects whatever i hate that shit i love when people put effort in sue me okay i don't care that people think that it's not as authentic when there's like a whole like show going on but i'm here for the show like for example i went to fka twigs concert it wasn't massive but it was so well put together and it was just so impressive a lot more impressive than many many concerts that were at huge venues that i went to like one direction no offense okay but one direction don't hold a candle to fka twigs fka twigs is an insane artist like you're genuinely the best <laughs> i just i'm just saying okay i am here for that whole shebang so i personally appreciate that about little mix i think that they also have a lot of catchy music if you're like a pop pop person and you don't like all the bells and whistles of like experimental production and you're here to just listen to a predictable kind of song that just hits every time little mix are there for you and it's great it's it's a good thing you know we need all types of artists and this is also a type that is valuable however i have such a beef with everything that comes to their visuals okay i just genuinely cannot deal with it like the music videos are so dull like when they do put something together for example this woman like me video right they have a more sets involved like so for example they're inside of this truck it looks like they've got this outside shot in front of some kind of chateau whatever inside of this library there's a lot more production going on here but the problem is that this is probably one of their best videos that's how bad things are that this is their best okay there's another one that i just watched and i kind of like you know i was just remembering <laughs> things some of them like for example the music video for touch works pretty well even though it's very basic and very simple i think that the problem that i have is with the fact that their styling is always outdated and also i think i think the way that it's outdated is in a very specific flavor of outdated which is i guess kind of current but people that i don't take seriously like love island core there's obviously better music videos and worse music videos but i wanted to mostly talk about their you know the latest work because i feel like it's more fair to talk about something that's more current than something that's like from 20 i don't know 15 or something like that by the way salute that album there was a lot of bops on it i remember we've got something like super tragic going on here okay <sighs> what is going on here what in 2013 gimp edit uh, 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 uh. is going on over here please people get paid for this people get paid to create this concept for them to light them up like the lighting is fine here <laughs> but to put them in the set you know like to to come up with the idea of how they're gonna edit it to edit it this way to do their makeup like that to everything everything in this picture there are many people working on this and all of them get paid quite well i mean except for those that are exploited but that's a whole other conversation this is seriously something i would do when i was 11 like you know what i mean like this is such a bad concept it's just 
absolutely ridiculous i feel bad for them because like maybe they had a say in it but i just i doubt it this is so uninspired mostly because the editing let me explain because i know there's gonna be comments being like well you said it's bad but why is it bad okay let me explain the background here you can see clearly that they used a background that they took a picture of or that they downloaded from you know from somewhere online that has this specific you know like rainbow color going on but also it's on kind of like a lacquered wall they sloppily edited them in it with a lot of feathering on the edges of the image that they photoshopped in to you they basically used it as a background but the way that they used it is very sloppy it does not look like they are in any way integrated into the picture it does not look well edited the feathering at the on the edges look at this it's like why would you do it this way where you can clearly see where that image ends and the other one begins also you can see that this is definitely messy there's a lot of like basically clip art or um, what would you call that in english like filters a, a pack of those like lights for example like the ones that are at the top left corner those are just like edited in because you can just find them on the internet and just plop them on top of it to kind of get the image integrated and there is nothing inherently wrong with using those um i think that they could look really great but the way that they're used here this just looks like a very bad editing job they designed the, the person who designed this or who was forced to put things together in such a way someone who was in charge of this definitely doesn't have good taste that's the problem you know it's kind of like how are you in this profession if you can't see that this is horrible looking saw this whole thing with their fragrance where they had a photo shoot for it and the guy or whoever the hell was like explaining how they put it together or whatever and they're like girl band little mix were due to release their debut fragrance their management company approached us to create the imagery we developed a series of art directional routes for gold magic by little mix fragrance the girls most like our idea to evoke a sun-kissed romantic vision a warm glowing environment inspired by mediterranean scene they build a large-scale studio whatever that much money as they like the way that they're phrasing it it seems like they asked for a bunch of money to build a set so the photo in terms of its quality um resolution is fine but again fucking look at how many there's fucking clip arts all over the place uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this was released in 2015 too late for this type of bullshit this is again something that i was doing when i was about eight nine and i was doing like my first edits of winks or whatever you don't do that shit as a professional even back then when tastes were different and everything was different and they are you know the photoshop was not as photoshoppy as today this type of shit wouldn't be done in a professional setting you know do you see at the bottom all of these things like the circles that are kind of like you know like the bouquet effect the lens flare effect do not understand why they would do any of that picture another picture of her layered on top with like you know a, like opacity being like 50 percent or something like that going on what is going on this is serious this is this is what they did for real because it's normal it's more normal to do something absolutely off the wall like off the rocker like put a bunch of images on top of each other make it kitsch kitsch the music videos too girl one of their latest ones holiday which is like from two years ago the music video is just like animation is fine whatever and maybe they were trying to make it look like it's very fake maybe they were trying to go for that like artificial feel it could be done better though like anyway i have beef with their art directors and yeah they're going into they said copy and paste i feel for them though girl i do triple s oh my god we're having like such a negative video today but um triple s they've got pretty cute concept in terms of um visuals you know but some of their songs are also pretty good but girl they got them nft bullshit so apparently like i thought it was gonna be people voting for their units whatever whatever like that's an interesting concept to have fans decide who's gonna be like band together because there's like 24 of the girls and they kind of put into smaller units right and tell me why nfts are involved like nfts are basically at the core of this thing and i just absolutely hate it like really i don't even have anything to say other than that because it's like they're trying to do the new jeans thing and nct thing like combine the two but also make it nft which is like 
do we have to be lame like that do we have to whatever they're lost the plot they're like in between lost the plot and fantastic early career because their music is pretty good and i don't want to be too harsh on them because of uh well <laughs> maybe like this yeah because it's quite copy and paste it's a bit innovative because the girls did not have the nct structure recently in k-pop but would i say that it's worth the whole nft bullshit no not really they're not really offering something that insanely good that i would have to be like you know what nfts are worth it yeah this is great blockchain love it oh this is sad why am i <laughs> why is today's episode so negative negative? and the last one we're going to be talking about today are my new love from s9 listen from s9 i think that their concepts are not particularly super unique but they're well executed i also think that they do have like some silly shit like in love bomb or whatever that's kind of red velvet coated but their biggest appeal is that they're just very like pleasant their aesthetic is always pleasant i really love the the, the simple but still cute design of their packaging and their you know the album covers and stuff i'm not gonna lie i was kind of trying to get into them a couple of times before this latest album and i just couldn't get into them because i only liked like a few songs and and then i would forget about them and someone told me like oh you're gonna love unlock my world and you were right oh my god unlock my world is absolute like an absolute banger okay listen i genuinely thought okay well okay the first song is good attitude is an absolute like it's so good it's so good it's pretty girl music okay pretty girl summer music if you like a little bit of r&b but make it a little bit intricate like very very intricate and it's a bit poppy too it's more um catchy anyway so i first listened to attitude and i was like oh my god she's good then i listened to me now and i was like i don't know it's kind of like didn't really like stick with me at first now i absolutely fucking love it i do i do i do and then wishlist also a banger absolutely love it in the mirror so good don't care so good prom night the goddamn production on these songs is just it's insane there's so many little bips and bops at the like you know in the background and the type of synth that they use they're so satisfying and the clicks and the clacks bitch i love this type of shit where you listen to a song and you're like focusing on the bass for example and it's just like bassing you really well and then you focus on the synths that are kind of sounding like water for some reason and it's just such a bop it just everything sounds fantastic i absolutely love it bring it on so what i want also fantastic my night routine is like a ballad type of thing or like a chill song and i just don't vibe with those so i did not put a like on it but it's still cute and eye contact is more of like you know and a concert type of song and i'm not really a fan of those either if you take my tastes my specific taste out of it this entire album is a banger every single song every single song it's crazy it's crazy they're choreographies are still satisfying to watch there are other songs that i really loved was escape room and there's also rewind and cheese girl go listen go listen to them you're i think you're gonna love it anyway i'm gonna put two images of them okay uh we're gonna have one for concept which is not really it doesn't really fit into either one of these descriptors you know like inconsistent greatness or fantastic early career it's more like it's just not as fantastic to be in the top concept slot but their music does so they're going there because their music is so good i cannot be putting them anywhere lower in this video even if the concept is not that unique okay there's nothing i can do about it it's just my hands are tied they are look anyway uh i might have been a bit more pissy than usual because i think that the, the fact that i filmed it before and spent so much time preparing and then it kind of did not record the way that i wanted to and the goddamn mic was all fucked up i think it pissed me off and um regardless of that um i'll be back with more stuff with more exciting stuff it's more you know it depends on what you find exciting but um a bunch of projects that i'm really excited to share with you and thank you to my patrons for supporting me i'll see you guys soon bye